Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add TripAdvisor widget to your website. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in this website where I found a guide that explains perfectly how to add a TripAdvisor widget to WordPress. So right now we're going to jump right to the uh, guide. So the first step is to create a TripAdvisor widget in WordPress. To get started, go to the Reviews feed menu from your WordPress dashboard, and then click on the Add New button. The next step is to add sources for your new reviews widget. You can simply connect this widget to your TripAdvisor pages. Click on the Add Source button here to get started. To continue, select the TripAdvisor option on the pop-up and click on Next. Step two connect your widget to TripAdvisor. With the Reviews Pro plugin, you can connect to TripAdvisor even without using an API key. In case you already have a TripAdvisor key, paste it into the pop-up and click on the Next button. Or you can click on the, the Skip button to continue. Then all you have to do is paste the link to a TripAdvisor page here and then click on the Finish button. Finally, click on the next button to confirm the source for your TripAdvisor widget. Your TripAdvisor widget will now automatically copy your website's design and look beautiful even without any customization. If you want to customize your TripAdvisor reviews, all you have to do is select a pre-designed template that comes with the plugin. You have seven templates with different designs that you can pick from. There is the default, simple cars, masonry, and so on. After selecting your widget template, click on the next button. Whenever you make any changes, the live preview on the right will show you how your TripAdvisor widget looks in real time. Then click on the feed layout option on the left panel. With the reviews feed pro, you can pick from uh, three options, list, masonry, and carousel. Play around with the different layouts until you find the right fit for your site and then click on the save button to confirm your changes. And lastly, you have to publish your widget in WordPress. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.